Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at GarageBand and Figure and uh, into app audio so using those those uh those three things together so okay so first of all to get started i'm going to open uh, garage band from the start and the first thing i'm going to do here is open the inter app audio apps and i'm going to find figure which happens to be the first one and open that there so <clears throat> i set up this i hope you can see this the camera angle is a little bit weird because i have to keep changing the orientation so i've got this thing set up to do in figure which i'll get to in a sec but uh for now oh yeah well, i want to explain it on the interrap audio in figure there is no interrap audio transport bar which makes things a little a little more tricky okay and uh, this is because uh propeller head have to put the transport bar in themselves when they so they may do when they update figure but hey it doesn't matter it still works so let's uh, go back to garage band so here we have garage band and you can see that we're on our audio recorder here this is because it's set to interrupt audio and this is what happens so you'll see this little figure icon here because we've uh, chosen figure of course if we hit the little icon it goes to figure but what we're going to do is set a couple of things up first so i don't want to um I don't want to set, I want to record for a set number of bars. I want figure to do all the work here. So we're going to go to, uh, sorry, we're going to go to uh, this little plus button here at the end. Now it will, it normally it'll default to eight bars, but we don't want that for this. What we're going to do is set it to automatic. Okay. So that means it will just record for as long as figure is recording. So as long as I'm playing figure, um, garage band's going to record. So that's important. So you set that to automatic. Um, then also my little track thing is uh, 150 BPM. I don't need the tempo really to be working in in um, in GarageBand because once I've recorded figure, that will give me the tempo I need for all the bits and pieces. Okay, now I'm not so I'm not going to bother setting it to 150. What I am going to do is set this to uh, 75, which is half of my 150, and it's only because. I haven't got a transport. Uh, I haven't got a transport bar inside uh, figure to start to start it. So if I have a slower count in half the speed that I'm going to need, you'll see I, I can just nip on over to figure and start it from there. Now um, I need to set up some things in. Well, good to figure a sec. I need to set up some things. So I want to start just with the drums. So I just want. Great, and I'm going to fade that in when I start from nothing, so it's going to be sort of... Actually, I think I won't fade it in, I'm going to leave it as it is, but I just want the drums to start, so... Back on over to Garage Band a sec. Now I think I'm pretty much good to go. Oh yeah, don't want me metronome on at all. So it will still give me a, a, a one bar counting, okay? And uh, so you, you're good with that, yeah? So we're good to go. Um, we've set up our interrap audio instrument. Here, this little plug-in thing here just tells us that our interrap audio instrument is figure. And uh, I'll show you something else with that in a bit. So um, as soon as I hit record now, it's going to give me a count in of four and then no metronome because I've turned it off. And then we can start to work in figure. And I, I, like I said, it doesn't matter because you'll see. So let's go. So let's go back to GarageBand 
and let's just stop the recording there so now once we've done that we've got our one track recorded you can see we have another little thing appear here and this lets us go to our you know our, our view so we can see that figure has recorded I'm hoping it's recorded as I recorded it with a little gap there yeah so let's just check super duper so we don't really want to listen to all of that do we now let's see what we're going to do now is we're going to add another track here and it'll be another track for figure so what we need to do is once we get the plus it'll give us our thing again we're going to add another instance of figure so that's important you need to do it again so this time what i want to do is not actually i need to don't need to actually play so this we can go to pattern let's go to lead sounds here and uh, i'm going to tr uh, find some now i'm set i'm still set with my same uh six when i when i set my song up sorry there we go i set it up in c minor 150 bpm k of c shuffle off i'm going to leave all that the same and now i'm just going to because i don't want to be out of tune or anything like that so we'll just leave it the same but i just want to add some bits and pieces And I've got my scale steps there. That's one, but we can choose that for anything we like. Obviously, you can, you can decide. So that's a bit loud. So we can go to mix there and drop that down a little bit. I think because I don't want to. I don't. I can do mo some of the mixing figure. I don't need to worry about garage band so much. Right. So something like that'll do. So let's go to Garage Band and um, let's just hold there a sec. And make sure that this is selected because this is the track that's going to record. Don't do it out because it'll just record over it. Make sure that's selected because that is what is going to record our new track on Figure now. Okay, so let's just uh, start that off again. a bit better but <laughs> and back over the garage band now you could see that Let's make our show stop record. You can see that now that we've got our second track. And we start to, can start to make it look a bit more sensible here. No, not by doing that, we can't. But by moving it in and uh, closing the end a bit. And we can select the same for that as well. So hopefully, now, if we just go to there... <laughs> What would have worked better in figure there when I did that section if I'd have actually stopped the transport and started it again instead of trying to do it with the mute? That would have worked much better. Anyway, you get the idea. So again, what we're going to do is add another instance of figure. So um, remember, we have to plus track here. Select that again. And then we can select another instance of figure. And we're going to make some more adjustments now. So I'm going to just go to drums there and actually we could try and do it with the thing. actually let's do it with the 16 right so <clears throat> but you're starting to get the idea guys right how you can build up build up your different uh, different bits and pieces so i'm going to try to do um same thing again make sure my just make sure my track is selected 
and uh, yeah. a garage band <clears throat> and stop okay so um you get the basic general idea there now so if we go back there we should have our thing now hopefully this is going to cover up some of the complete botch i made so we've only got three figure tracks going now and of course you can add any other instruments but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do one more thing before we finish but i'm just going to have a quick let me just um, make that look a bit more sensible so you can start to make it look like it's, you know, like a proper thing. So let's just have a quick listen from about there. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to add one more, otherwise we'll be here all day. And if you, of course, guys, take more care and attention that I'm taking, your timings and workings out. So another one to figure, I think, since this is about figure and garage band. And let's try, I'm just going to uh, lead sound again, something a bit... Uh, Right, now I'm going to use that, and I'm going to go back to GarageBand. See, Propeller Head really needs to add the inter-app audio transport. It makes things so much easier, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So remember before, we hit this. For this fourth track now, I'm going to add an effect as well. So we hit this, and we hit, it says inter-app audio figure. We go there, and then we go effect here. And I'm going to add crystalline, which is one of the best iOS effects ever. Okay. Now I'm going to sorry. Um I'm going to just have a why can't I look at crystalline? Anyway. I'm going to go to ah there because you can see now. I'm gonna go to crystalline and I'm gonna set up a thing called chimes. If you haven't got this guys go and get it because it's amazing. You'll love this. It does some amazing amazing things. Um See, this has the, the transport. See? But it's put in by it's put in by the developers. Okay, so let's go to Barrage Band. And now let's go to figure. And I just wanna see how that see hear that a brilliant effect. So let's go to mix again because our lead needs to be louder this time. Remember I turned it down for the other one, which is quite loud. I'll leave everything else the same. Go back there. Great. So I'm just going to throw some of that in. I'm not going to even bother turning it around this time. I'm just going to go to... Um,
and finish off. We go back to Cottage Pond. Get to record the tale. Stop there, back. And there's our completed track for now. This is uh, all I'm going to be doing. So there you go, guys. And that, So a couple of important things to remember is when you set your track up, just set this little plus for, you know, f just for the um, automatic so that you're not going to keep stopping and just jump backwards and forwards. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. If you did like the video, subscribe to the channel. Visit us at thesoundtestroom.com. And uh, I really hope you uh, found this interesting and, uh, and, and good fun. All right, guys, I'll see you later.